let's do an example where we have the SSS. We know the sides of a triangle and we want to find the angles. We'll find, let's find this angle. Call it gamma. We will be using the inverse trig functions, the inverse cosine. Let's see. Try that again. 2420 squared equals. 50-50 squared plus 6,000 squared minus 2 times 50-50 times 6,000 times the cosine of gamma. We perform our algebraic simplification and we use the arc cosine. Gamma is the arc cosine of this, which is um, 23.3 degrees. Um, let's see. If, if you're fine with this, then that's the end of the video. It's occurred to me, though, that maybe I was a little quick going from the stuff up here to the stuff down here. So just to show that in a little more detail, It's really plug and play, just a little tedious, which is why I skimmed through it. But on the left, we squared 2, 4, 20. And got that. On the right, we squared 50, 50. Let's see, then we, you know, squared the 6,000, we multiplied this out, and that gave us this. We can subtract terms over to the left. Then we divide by this huge number down here. Um, the only thing to be careful of is to make sure that when you do the division, you remember that you're dividing by a negative number. So you wind up with... Um, Give me a second to type this in. You wind up with the cosine is 0.9183. These very huge numbers end up being about one when we divide them, and then we take the arc. <laughs>
cosine. So we've solved for gamma. Um, I won't do it because this video is a little long already, but we could solve for a second angle in exactly the same way. And then once we found find two of the angles, remember that you don't need to go through that whole rigmarole a third time. Finding the third angle with a triangle can be done just using the number of degrees in a triangle.